Coming up next, we have different flavored truffles and different dipping sauces. Stay tuned. recipes today for truffles, different flavors, and we can dip them in different chocolates. Yeah, just ma make them fun, make them good. Yes. You know, we might have to sprinkle a little flour on yeah. our face to yeah. make, you know, everybody know that they're really hard work. They were really hard work. <laughs> you know, when you talk about truffles, does that sound not like it's going to be a uh, lot entailed into this recipe that, you know, it's going to be kind of time consuming, maybe a little bit difficult? Well, yes. It if does. You're, ta you're talking to somebody that, you know, probably doesn't tackle the, the really hard recipes too often, <laughs> it truffles might not be in my... Yeah, right. It just might says, not be in my recipe box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, if this is so easy. We're going to make some lemon truffles dipped in, you know, just almond bark. But then we're going to make some uh, peanut butter truffles that we're going to dip in chocolate, almond chocolate bark, and also some Oreo cookie um, truffles that and we're even going to add a little mint in there just to give it that little extra flavor and those we're going to uh, dip in almond bark also awesome. in your white chocolate so they are so easy it does you know help though if you have a, I've got a nice big food processor here okay and uh, we're going to add about we're going to start with the lemon so then we don't have to wash our bowl after each one. We start with the lemon and it's going to be good. We're going to add about um, 36 uh, or about 34 to 36 cookies in here. Okay. So we're going to just going to put that in there and I'm going to just add my cookies. I had kind of counted them out prior and I'm going to start just pulsating, you know, put that on so that they start you want them really to grind up um, really fine. Okay. Then we can just add these in here. Okay, I've got that in there. And any, even a food processor probably, I mean this is a food processor but a blender. Mm -hmm. Anything that's going to chop up them really fine. And I'm going to just turn that down here and just to kind of show you. Well, there's a couple of cookies in here that we still want to get a little finer. Yep, there's one but, that popped up in there. Yeah, but we want it to be very, very fine. So I'm going to add, put that on a little bit higher, more. I'm going to just add it a little bit. And this is with the cream inside the sandwich cookie. Yeah, it's a lemon sandwich cookie. How easy. Yeah. You don't no even whatever. have to bake before you start the project. You can. Yes. You don't have to. You don't have to. So we're going to add. Then you're going to add uh, one package of cream cheese. And that's going to be it. Perfect. And they are absolutely delicious. Okay. I can see that. I'm trying to get them little finer there. Okay, now it looks like our cookies are really blended well, so we're going to add a package of cream cheese in here. And I did take this out, you know, probably about an hour ago, so it's a little softer. Okay. But with the power of the food processor, you know, it, it takes it really easily. Ah, all right. And that just okay. come, comes in almost like in a softball stage then. Yep, that's correct. That's... All right. Didn't take long to mix that, did it? No, not at all. Okay. I'm going to just kind of take this top off and double check it here. And that looks like it's really mixed well. So we're going to just take this one out here 
And I'm going to just put this in a bowl, okay? And we'll s scrape this off here. And you know, when you have, you might have a few crumbs that didn't really get mixed in there well, but it's, you're going to be able just to, you know, mix that in there okay. easily. So, like I said, you know, if you have a food processor, that's just going to work so much quicker and easier. And if you don't have something like that, and even to, uh, you know, make your cookie, cookies really fine, put them in a, a plastic bread bag and just mm -hmm. take your rolling pin and roll over them like that and they're not going to fly all over and you'll have it contained in a plastic bag. Yep. I do that quite mm -hmm. often with, you know, when I want to do graham cracker, make a graham cracker crust, but it's not enough. Uh, you know, I just need a little bit so I don't want to take, take out, out my yep. food processor and that. So, so we're going to just add that in there. But you can just see, look at how nice and moist that is and that and we're going to just make them into little balls okay and then you know you're going to want to freeze them um you can freeze them for like an hour or overnight or a couple of days just until you're able to get to it you know make each step a little bit easy so that you know it isn't so much work okay at once so now where i'm going to put that back on there and i'll put this in and, and we're going to um do our peanut butter ones. Okay. Now with the package of peanut butter, I'm going to use them all, but probably about four of them. Okay. And that so that it, they stay nice and moist. So we're going to start with that. And I love the smell of peanut butter. Oh, <laughs> peanut butter is one of the best flavors. I feel bad for anybody that has a peanut allergy. Oh, don't they don't know what else. they're missing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they're just not going to want to take take a chance when they have allergies to oh, them. You definitely. know. So. Okay. Now we have the peanut butter all mixed here, and just really a nice uh, soft consistency here, okay. blended well. So we'll set that aside for a few moments and we'll get our Oreo ones done. Okay. So we'll just get that in there. And I'm gonna start that up there. Okay. Oh, we need to open this up a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to add maybe not quite all at once so that it doesn't clog up on me here. I know it's kind of hard to talk over this, the noise of the blender, but... Uh, it's not that it's a really loud one, but no. it still makes quite a bit of noise. It, it does. Okay. So I have that in there, and it looks like it's just about blended. Okay. So I'm going to add my cream cheese here. And... Okay, that just come off there. I think I'm going to just put it on low until I got it all in there. And again, you know, you, we're doing these with three different flavors of cookies, but I think I mean, there's so many cookies that you could do this with and experiment. You know, absolutely. You know, there's things that we sometimes don't even imagine is going to be good. It's just unbelievable it how, how good they are. And easy. Yes. Okay, that's mixing up. And like I said, this one here, I wanted to uh, 
add some mint to it so we have a chocolate mint truffle. Okay. So I'm going to just, and I'm using um, a pure mint extract here. Okay. And that, so, oh, my hands are slippery. I'm going to have to have <laughs> you open that up there. Thank you. And I'm just going to make, figure about a half a teaspoon there. Okay. And that, so then I'm going to just put that on high there, get that mixed up well. And let's just check to see how that is. Oh, that has mixed really well. I think at certain times of the year, Oreo does come out with different flavors. I think mint, too. They, they have had, and the mint is in the cream filling right. on that and stuff. So, Okay, so that worked out really well here. And we'll put that in our other bowl here, and we'll take that okay. bowl over there. Oh, that does smell minty. You can smell the mint on that. Yes, definitely. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is what you're going to want to do is make little uh, balls. And you're going to want to, like I said, uh, freeze them for an hour or, like I said, a couple of days. Okay. It's not going to hurt them at all. So we're going to just take, come over here and get a couple of pans. And let's start. Well, it doesn't make a difference which ones we start with. I, I'm going to use a melon baller. Okay. And the, the little large side just makes it just perfect. Okay. You know, for uh, the size of truffle you, you want. So, you know, I just do that. And then you can just roll that and shape them up. All right. And then we'll do a couple of the other ones and I've already made previously made some already that are froze so that we can uh, go ahead and show you how to dip them and you know can even decorate them a little bit sure and that so and that makes it a fun I think you know the kids would love getting their little mitts into this here too would don't you think oh absolutely okay. and, I mean this is something that as easy as, as it is they're delicious and they look great it would Brighten up any party, graduation, showers. Anytime you want something a little bit sweet like that, absolutely. Well, and they're small and dainty and... Until, you know, they look kind of small, but you know, till you dip them in your chocolate or almond bark, mm -hmm. you're going to, uh, they're going to be just the right size. You know, something like this, it's easier to eat two of them rather than one big one. Right. And there's not as many calories in two as in one. Okay. You know. I'll remember that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's just go ahead and get the lemon mixed up here. And so it, it goes fast. And if you have somebody that can, you know, help you just roll them there. But this way, you know, using this melon baller, uh, you get a nice even ones all mm -hmm. the way around in that. So... Okay, let you just there. All right. So just kind of showing you what you you're gonna do. You know, just uh, you know, make them in nice little balls there, and mm -hmm. we're gonna put them in the freezer, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the ones that have already frozen and, and melt our chocolate and show you how we're going to finish this. Sounds great. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to melt our almond bark. Okay. To start dipping the chocolate and the lemon in. So okay. we'll just go up here and put that in the microwave. I'm going to put it at uh, two minutes and then, uh, you know, then I want to stir it because we don't need the almond bark real hot, you know, and stuff. You want it just to get it to start melting. Okay. So at two minutes, then we can stir it and then put it back in a couple more minutes. So. Okay. Okay. I put that in for two minutes and... Uh, we stirred it, and I just put it in for another 30 seconds, and it's already ready to go. That's the nice it, thing about almond bark. It melts so nice. It does, and you don't, like I said, want it real 
hot. Okay. And that, it, because then it sets up that much faster. You know, you think, well, if you make it hot, it's going to keep it from setting up. Actually, you know, it makes it set up faster. So, oh, good. and you know, good you, tip. you start with this and if you need to put it back in to melt a little bit more, then you can do that. So just put your little chocolates in there and just put them on your wax paper. Like that, you know, we'll just show you to do a couple of them there and And you don't want your um, truffles out too long, okay? So that they, you know, start to unthaw. The, you know, the colder they are, the better it is. So you can see it; they're just a really nice size. You know, that you have a couple of bites out of them. You don't want, like I said, too big, right? Because they they are rich, they're delicious, but you don't want to overpower anybody. Absolutely. So this is kind of something fun that, you know, you can do together or you have somebody, you know, helping you rather than just by yourself. So I have to stay until all of these are done. Is that what you're telling me? Well, I, <laughs> what am I going to say? Yes. <laughs> So we showed you how with some of the chocolate ones, and now we're going to go ahead and let's do some lemon. Okay. Because we're going to do the lemon in the uh, almond bark too, and we're going to, this is the peanut butter and here's the lemon. So let's just get that mixed in there. And we'll just put them over a little bit further to the side. Whoop, I just about took a peanut butter one, but I'm sure that would have been good too. Anything goes with peanut butter. Yes. And it does help, you know, when the two of them are working on this, you kind of get it going a little bit quicker. And if you get a fingerprint in there or whatever, you can just you know, cover it up with a little bit more chocolate. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There's a reason that I didn't help too much growing up. Or maybe if I would have helped more, I would have gotten yeah, you better. You would have gotten better, absolutely. Okay. So, and I'm just using the fondue forks here to uh, dip them in and take them out. It's kind of Nice, easy to work with here. Okay, let's, we're going to put this aside here. Okay. And here, you, we'll just set that, I'll pull this here. And what we're going to do now, I want to melt uh, the chocolate. Okay to do the peanut butter. And then we're also going to uh, melt a little bit of a chocolate um, in here. So we're gonna just drizzle, make it a little fancy on top here. Okay. And we don't need too much for that. And I'm gonna, I'm using a little bit more better uh, chocolate. Okay. And this is just a semi-sweet, but a premium chocolate chips. Cause there's a little bit of differences in the chocolate chips and, and you know, they, the better ones are going to be a little bit creamier and easier to, to spread on there. So, okay. I'm going to just put that in the microwave and melt that just for about 45 seconds. I think we'll be about right. And we'll check that. And then we're going to put it in a pastry, uh, sheet here, you know, like when you're doing frosting. Okay. And I've got a really small tip here so that we can just make a little chocolate design over, over the truffle. Make just it to look kind of make it pretty. Special. Yes. So I do want a spoon here and just double check that because this does melt fast. And we don't 
Does it need it just real hot by any means, but we want them just all nicely melted here. Okay. And maybe that 45 seconds might not be enough, but we'll see there. Go back. And you can see already the, how nice they're easy to handle. Because okay. that almond bark really sets up quite quickly. This must be one of the ones we used last there. Or made last, I should say. So let me check the chocolate again. And stir that up. And like I said, this is just 45 seconds. So that wasn't too long, but already it's melting. But I want it a little bit warmer than that. Okay. Because too, with putting it in that pastry bag, we want to be able to make, have it soft enough that it's going to squeeze out nicely. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then while we're waiting for that, um, we can start uh, our chocolate here for our, here I'm going to just, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> to do our peanut butter ones. Okay. So when that's all done, and we can just put this in and I'll start at that again at two minutes. Okay. That looks like it's going to be there. Put that for two minutes and let's just, oh, okay. Boy, that's nice and creamy here. Oh, definitely. And so this I can get it pretty much to the bottom there. Okay. So you know when you do that and you kind of roll and you just squeeze that and you're going to be able to just you know, just drizzle that a little bit right there, just like that. Doesn't that make it pretty? It does, and, and you, like you said, you're going to want to use a fine tip. You can do a nice design on it. And, oh, we should have some flour to Put spritz a, in our <laughs> face right now of how hard we're working. Yeah, definitely. So it doesn't take much, you know, it just adds to something special to that. It does. So we'll just leave that set a little bit, and then we'll put those on there. And with the um, lemon with the almond bark, what do you think about putting chocolate on them? Just to, I don't think it's going to give it an extra taste, but it's just going to make them look. They're going to look very pretty. More, more decorative. So we're just going to do that on all of those there. Good enough to eat. Absolutely. <laughs> So we're just going to put that on there. Okay. So we're going to check our almond, our chocolate bark and, okay. and start with that. Sounds great. So I'm going to get myself another spoon here to stir up the chocolate. And let's see. Oh, look at that. And that's just two minutes. So that doesn't take long at all. But I do want to give it just about another 30 seconds or so. Okay. And that. And put that there. So, you know, something like this, like you said, doing it for any occasion, and it doesn't always have to be just a special occasion, but... Family's pretty, always a special occasion when absolutely. you're having people come it's, over and... Yeah, anytime, absolutely. So, we've just got a couple more minutes, and then we're going to show there. And, and then what I would do is I would take some white almond bark to drizzle over the you know, the, the chocolate oh, and perfect. that. I think that would be neat. But I don't have an extra bag, you know, for the, to put that in, I'll have to, I'll finish the chocolate and then I will do the, you know, put the white chocolate in the bag. Sure. 
So that's all oh, nice looks and perfect. smooth. So we can dip, uh, there you go. We can dip some of our peanut butter ones in there. And maybe give you a little bit more room so you have a little bit more room to work with. <laughs> <laughs> or you might want to move that platter. Or I think we're on a two to one ratio, maybe three to one. No. Oh. <laughs> now I'm not trying to make you look bad. Well, it doesn't take we much just when gotta it comes move. to cooking. <laughs> gotta work fast. Okay. I think that's will do just fine to show people how this is done. Okay. Set that aside. And we just want to give those a couple of moments to set up and then we'll show you all the finished product. Sounds great. Okay. Well, that chocolate is already setting up here. Let's just put them on the plate here. But like I said, you know, um, I would go ahead and drizzle some white chocolate over that too. Sure. Just to, you know, decorate them and make them look even more festive. Well, absolutely. And they look, they look better than store-bought. Oh. They're homemade. What can be They're, better than that? Not much. Not much. Not much. Just a little flour in the base. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I do it? Sure. <laughs> Only right. if I can do it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> to get this recipe, just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com. Please submit your recipes for us to cook for you. And as always, thank you to the workshop for being our sponsor. Have a great day.